Hi there. Today we're going to go over how to use a multimeter to test for continuity. We're going to do that by using this audio cable, this 3.5 millimeter standard headphone cable. I'll also cover how to verify that the cable is wired one to one and whether or not that type of cable suits your needs. This video got a little longer than I planned it to be, but that's okay. It's kind of like how to use a multimeter for dummies, but I think there's a lot of good information in this video, so stick around and we'll cover some of the basics. And here's my disclaimer. I am not, not a licensed electrician in any way, shape, or form. And in this video, I am not telling you to touch or mess with any live electricity, such as your household electricity. Don't mess with it unless you've got a licensed electrician on hand. Got it? You've been disclaimed. No touching live electricity. All right, onwards. So why use a multimeter? I love multimeters because they take the guesswork out of things. They let you verify what is what, and you get a lot less headaches trying to trace down a signal path. I use a multimeter often to verify which ends or conductors on one end of a cable correspond to the ends or conductors on the other end of the same cable because this single cable actually has three wires inside of it. Each of those internal wires is protected by its own shielding or coating that doesn't allow the wires to touch when they're inside this kind of outer sheathing. And each of those internal wires are terminated or connected to one or more of the conductors on each end of the cable. For today, we're going to be using this headphone cable that has three wires internally and is a tip ring sleeve style. Those tip ring sleeves corresponding to each of the internal wires. We'll have some graphics later on to show you what I mean. For a multimeter, all continuity means is that that wire, that conductive material, or whatever you're testing is continuous, is complete, and that there are no breaks in it, and that that conductor does indeed connect to the other end of the same wire. So this is helpful not only determining where a cable or wire leads to and from, but also how an individual cable is wired internally. And just because two ends of a cable look identical and have the same style connector on both ends, that does not mean that it's wired the same as a cable that looks identical. Again, they may be wired differently inside and that will greatly affect how the cable transmit the signals to and from your devices. So I made this video to verify which wires on the inside of the muffs of these Sony MDR7506 headphones correspond to the tip ring sleeve portions of the cable that comes out the end. Why? Because I actually want to uh, mod these and get this cable off of there so that I can install a jack on the headphones and use any cable I want, you know, like this one or any other 1 8 inch 3.5 millimeter cable. So let's talk about how a multimeter is going to help us verify that. How does it actually work when testing? So take a multimeter. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Got this one at Home Depot for 40 bucks or something. You can spend six to $10 on a small one. You don't need anything fancy. You just need to make sure it has continuity mode and most multimeters do. The way you put most multimeters in continuity mode is you look for a little Greek symbol, the Omega symbol. And it's right there on this multimeter. Find the Omega symbol, put it in that mode. Your multimeter also comes with two leads or usually these red and black wires that you attach to different ports. Sometimes only two, sometimes four, but uh, usually only two ports on your multimeter. So when you're in continuity mode, your multimeter will provide either a visual and or an auditory signal to let you know that there's continuity between two points. So if we take our multimeter here, and we have the audible alarm on. When I take my two leads and I touch them, I should hear something like this. What your meter is telling you is that these two leads are in continuity with each other. They are completing the circuit. They are attached. They are complete or continuous and therefore closing or creating a full electrical circuit. Make sense? So if we put anything that's electrically conductive between these two leads, then that material being conductive will complete the circuit and will give us an audible beat like this. Hang on. Okay. So here's an example piece of just bare copper wire. We take it, we touch it to one lead 
As soon as we touch this lead to the other end, we'll get the notification from the multimeter that that circuit is complete and we'll hear a beep. Make sense? And that's why putting a piece of wood between these two leads won't work because, you know, wood's a poor conductor of electricity. But you knew that. And remember, the audio signals coming from, say, your iPhone or your Samsung phone to your headphones, uh, your other audio equipment, that's all electricity flowing down those wires. Very small amount, it's not going to electrocute you, but remember, it is electricity. Back to the headphones and what we need to verify. So headphones and more primarily headphone cable, which is no different than any other audio cable, uh, the signal is unbalanced. And the reason it's unbalanced is that you need a left signal, a right signal, and a ground signal. So there's your three conductors. Those correspond to the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. So you've got tip is left, ring is right, sleeve is ground. So to show you this, let's test our headphone cable. I'll take one lead and touch it to the sleeve of one end, and I'll take the other lead and touch it to the sleeve of the other end. If these two are actually connected internally, we'll get the beep. Success. However, we also want to verify that the conductor over here is not connected to any other conductors on the other end. If it were, then we know that this cable is wired differently than a standard cable and we might need to choose a different cable. This cable should be one-to-one. -one. That's what we're looking for in a standard audio or headphone cable is that the tip only goes to the tip on the other end, the ring only goes to the ring on the other end, and the sleeve only goes to the sleeve on the other end. We're looking for a one-to-one -one relationship. So let's test all three starting with the tip. We'll touch the tip on this end. We'll touch the tip on this end. Good. Now the ring. Good. Now the sleeve. Good. However, for this cable, for headphones, we also want to verify that the conductor on one end is only wired to one conductor on the other end. This is how our headphone cable needs to be wired, one to one. And this is how almost all cables are wired unless otherwise noted. So if you buy like a standard three foot, one eighth inch audio cable from Walmart, Best Buy, they're labeled aux cables a lot nowadays, they are typically going to be wired one to one and they should be just fine for connecting your audio equipment without any of this testing. If we want to verify that this cable or any other cable is wired only one-to-one, -one, let's go back to this other view here. We'll simply start with the tip. We'll touch the tip here, and we verify that the tip on this side is in fact touching the tip on this side. Good. Now, we're going to leave that end touching the tip, and we're going to go through the other connectors. Now, we get a beep here that's got continuity. We also want to make sure that this tip is not internally connected to either of the other two conductors. So if we touch the other two conductors, we should not get a beep. So here we go. Let's put this one back on the tip. Tip's good. No beep on the ring, which means the tip is not touching the ring internally. That's good. That's what we want. Now let's touch the sleeve. Nothing. So we have tip on the left. On the right, we have tip. Continuity, no continuity, no continuity, good. That means the tip is only wired to the tip. Let's test the ring. Good on the ring on this side, no continuity on tip, no continuity on the sleeve. Now for the sleeve on left end. Good, we have continuity on the sleeve, nothing on the ring, nothing on the tip, which means our cable is good to go. Now, if your meter is telling you that a conductor on one end of your cable is connected to more than one conductor on the other end of your cable, it doesn't mean you have a problem, it just means that that's how that cable is wired and it may or may not work for your purposes. So let's apply this to the inside of our Sony headphones and find out which wires are which inside there so that we can add our own headphone jack and still end up with a left and a right channel. All right, let's deconstruct these and hopefully not ruin them. So when we finally open these up, this is what we're presented with. So as you can see here, we have the cable coming into the earmuff right here. And now you can see the three individual cables that actually come down this main cable that make up the left, right, and the ground. And we need to figure out which one's which because colors don't always make sense <laughs> inside cables. So what we'll do is 
we'll take our multimeter and we will touch these solder points because again the solder point is electrically conductive and while touching only one point we will then put the other end of the meter on one of the conductors of the other end of our headphone cable that is attached to these headphones and we will then find out which color wire goes to which solder point and therefore which conductor it lines up with and we'll know which one's left which one's right and which one's ground all right so let's grab our meter it's working now let's test we will touch one solder point at a time while moving the other end of the meter to one of the conductors on the headphone jack over here let's start with the green one we're going to touch its solder point and remember the solder point is electrically conductive so that will work just fine and now we're going to test the other end of the cable here Let's start with the sleeve. Well, it doesn't look like the green is attached to the sleeve. Let's try the ring. I'm not getting any uh, continuity there. Let's try the tip. Hey, look at that. That's telling me that the green wire is our tip, therefore our left signal. All right, so let's try the red. Let's touch the red solder point over here. Now, uh, we verified that the green is going to the tip. Let's just verify that the red is not going to the tip. Okay, no conductivity on the tip. Let's try the ring. Hey, look at that. Looks like the red is our right channel. Let's just go ahead and touch the ground on the uh, male end of the cable here to verify that the red is not going to the ground. It's not, so the red is going to the ring, which makes the red our right channel. Now seeing as how the green is the left and the red is the right, the gold cable here should be the ground. Let's just verify though. So we've got the gold cable coming in right here. It's going to this solder point, so we're gonna to touch that. And now we're gonna go over here and verify that that's our ground. Here we go. Ah, success. Now let's verify that the ground is not touching any of our other conductors. So we've got ground on the sleeve, nothing on the ring, nothing on the tip. All right, pretty simple, right? So we've now verified that the green is the left signal, the red is the right signal, and the gold cable is the ground signal. So at a later time, not in this video, I'm going to deconstruct these and resolder everything so that when I try to put them back together, I'll know what goes where and uh, hopefully we'll have a working pair of headphones. Well, I've said a mouthful. I hope all of this information was very helpful to you and uh, go out there, get yourself a multimeter. Happy testing. We'll see you next time. That's okay. It's more like a how to use a multimeter. <laughs> multimeter? It's more like a how to use a multimeter, multimeter, how to use a multimeter. Okay, that's it. I've said multimedia, multimedia, multimeter, 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 multimeter. Okay, how to use a multimeter. I cannot say that word. Man, hopefully this is the last time. It's more like how to use a multimeter, multimeter. How to use a multimeter to test continuity for dummies. All right.